I know I'm not the only person who is obsessed with perfume. I remember there was a point in time where I had over 30 bottles of perfume. I was buying them for any reason under the sun. I bought them because the bottle looked good. I bought them because they were on sale. Somebody recommended it. It smelled good. Like for any reason, I was buying the perfume and it was just sitting on my shelf. Like I only found myself gravitating to maybe one or two different fragrances. So I thought to myself, girl, you need to stop wasting your money and buy only the products that you are going to use. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and some vlogs. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you my current perfume collection. I did pare my collection down to about two or three full-size bottles of fragrances that are I consider as my signature fragrances. So these are fragrances that I really, really like and I want to keep in my collection. And then I decided for other fragrances that I kind of want to test the waters, I will buy them in the smaller travel or mini size version just to see if it's something that I like. So in my mind, I'm feeling like I'm not wasting money. So that is what we're going to talk about in the video today. Please keep in mind that I am not an expert when it comes to anything perfume, beauty, makeup, fashion. Like these are all my opinions and my thoughts that I want to share with you. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. So starting with my number one favorite perfume, which I'm sure is in every girl's collection, and it is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. And I have my phone here because I have a few notes about the perfume. So let me pull that up. So this perfume comes in a size 3.4 ounces and it retails for $172. And the notes for this perfume include orange, grass jasmine, may rose, and patchouli vetiver. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this um, scent to me is a very sweet and floral scent, which I really do love. And I tend to wear scents like this in the spring and the summer. And I'll definitely wear this um, when I'm going to a special event, if I'm dressing up and looking really, really cute or date night. That is when I um, tend to wear this fragrance. I really love wearing this fragrance because it makes me feel so luxurious. I feel so sweet and inviting and it's just a really lovely fragrance and I've had this in my collection for years and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. As you can tell it is almost out but don't worry I already have a full size bottle in the drawer ready to come out when this is done. Next fragrance I have is the Gucci Bloom in this beautiful glass blush pink bottle. And this was actually a gift from my son for my birthday a couple of years ago. And I absolutely love this fragrance. So for the details, this is a 3.3 ounce bottle. It retails for $168. And the notes include Ragoon Creeper, Tube Rose, and Jasmine Bud. Now I, again, like to wear this fragrance during the spring and summer because I feel like it's a light fruity scent. And I feel like it's a little playful. So I like to wear this mostly on the weekends or when I'm dressing casual or if I'm just feeling fun and flirty that is when I tend to gravitate to this fragrance it's just a really good clean fresh sweet smelling scent and I absolutely love it and I love it even more because it was a gift from my son so um, now would I repurchase it I don't know if it'll be something that I would keep in my collection in a full size version no. I may consider buying it in a travel size version because it is a nice scent but I don't think that this will be something that I will continue to buy in a full size version but it is a fragrance that I do like I'm actually wearing it today and for my next full size bottle of perfume it is this YSL Libre y'all let me tell you I am obsessed with this fragrance this is quickly becoming my number one fragrance I bought this in the smaller version just because I wanted to test it out because it's not something I typically go for I like I said love the floral sweet scents but this is more of a warm 
floral scent so it's a little stronger um and it also comes in an intense version which is a lot stronger than this one so i decided to you know try this one out first and y'all i love it i ran to get the full size version before i was even done with the mini size and i've already bought this three times this is my third full size bottle i love this i love it i tend to only wear it during the fall and winter obviously you can wear it any time of the year but those tend to be the seasons that i gravitate toward it the most because it's such a warm scent and i'm definitely wearing this on date night definitely wearing this when i'm feeling you know really sexy really sophisticated i'm definitely running to this and y'all this is my most complimented fragrance every single time y'all i'm not exaggerating every single time i wear this fragrance someone asks me what am i wearing someone is going to ask me what am i wearing every single time i wear this i can wear this three days in a row and somebody is going to ask me every single day what are you wearing i love 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 this fragrance it will forever be in my collection in the full size version and as you will see later on in the video i do have it in the mini size travel version as well but this is a forever in my collection in the full size i love it one of the last full size fragrance i have this was actually a blind buy and i don't typically buy per, um i don't typically buy fragrances before smelling them because i want to know what i'm getting for the money because they are not cheap but this was definitely a blind buy and i was highly influenced by um social media to get it everybody all the girls was talking about the joe malone in the ginger biscuit and then when i saw the bottle because like i said in the beginning of the video i love the packaging and the bottle was just so cute so i was like okay if anything i'm gonna get it because i really do love the bottle and quite frankly i do love joe malone fragrances so i was like okay i'll go ahead and get it it is a limited edition version so i do at least want to try it out so this is like i said the joe malone ginger biscuit and for the details of the fragrance it is a 3.4 ounce bottle retails for 165 dollars the notes are vanilla almond hazelnut ginger and tonka bean and it smells just like the name it smells like a whole ginger biscuit it smells like a bakery so if you don't mind walking around smelling like a gingerbread man in the bakery this is the fragrance for you so i do tend to only wear this during the christmas time because of that bakery gingerbread smell to it um so i tend to only wear this during the christmas time and i really do like it i don't I really think like that it. it has a long lasting staying power but it still is a nice fragrance and it's so light and misty that you can just you know reapply it throughout the day and i do find that to be true for most of joe malone's fragrances is that you do have to reapply them throughout the day um but i really do like it would i repurchase this once this is done probably not because it's such a specific seasonal fragrance to me. It's not anything that I will wear like on date night or anything like so that. Like those are my full size bottles of perfume. Let's move on to the travel and mini size fragrances. So like I said, I do love Joe Malone fragrances and I decided to go with the mini size version of those just because he has so many different fragrances and I want to try them all. So I thought that this would be the perfect size to give me the opportunity to try, you know, a variety of his scents and not commit to a whole bottle in the event that is a scent that I don't like. And I've tried several um different ones from him and i probably only have one or two that i don't care for and i wouldn't repurchase and i can't even think of the name of them right now starting but with this one this is what it looks like and this is in the scent wood sage and sea salt and this is a repurchase i've had this scent before and i really like it so i purchased it again and the scents for this one includes ambrit seeds 
sea salt and sage obviously but it's a really nice i want to say woozy scent but it's light it's not too heavy it's not too warm um it is a scent that i will wear all year round and i will wear it at any time of the day so it's something that i can um throw on during the day when i'm just sitting around or running errands or something that i will wear to work or you know just something really light and i do also like to layer my joe malone fragrances with one of my other fragrances too just because it's that because it's just that light so you can definitely layer it with other scents if you want to kind of like create your own scent so that is something that i do love about this let's talk about the sizing and the pricing So this is considered the one ounce size and it retails for $85. Now I think there was a price increase recently because I remember buying this a couple of years ago and it was like $75 and then here lately it was $80. So I think they recently increased it to $85. And I mean, if they're just going to keep increasing the price for this size, a one ounce, I may have to consider getting the full size version for the ones that I like and I repurchase a lot. But um, that is the current price. And guys, when I buy my perfume, I buy them on sale. Like when Nordstrom has the 15% off beauty and fragrances, that's when I tend to buy my fragrances. And as you know, the full size um, bottles last much longer. So I, I'm not... I'm not constantly buying those. I mean, I've probably had these for a couple of years, as you can see. So I'm not constantly buying them. But for these size, I do um, buy these a lot more frequently. But I'm buying them when they are on sale for 15% off. I'm not always paying full price for my fragrances. So I just wanted to um, put that out there. So that is one of the Jo Malone fragrances. And the next one is Poppy and Barley. This is also a really nice fragrance, and the notes include black currant, poppy, and barley. Uh, most of these scents are included in the name, but again, this is a really nice scent. It is almost out. I have like a corner left. Um, it is a really nice scent. I don't know that I'll repurchase it when this one is out. I think this may be a one and done, but it is a really nice scent that I can wear any time of the day uh, for any event and for any season. So I do like that one. The next one, which is my all-time favorite, absolutely love it. It is the Peony Blush and Suede. I've bought this bottle several times, so I'm not sure why I haven't just already bought this in the full size version because this is probably like my third or fourth time buying it in this size. But I really love this because obviously it's sweet, it's floral. Uh, I can wear this in the spring and the summer. I can wear this, you know, at night for bed. Like it's just a really beautiful, simple clean fragrance and i really love it and it will definitely be one that i will repurchase and i may seriously consider getting this in the full size version especially since they are doing these um frequent price increases so this is a good one definitely should try this one out and the last one i have is red roses and it smells just like red roses i really really love this one like the other ones i will wear like any time of the day the red roses i probably tend to wear more in the evening time just because it's a little stronger than the other ones it's not as light and fresh it is a little stronger but the notes for this one include lemon red roses accord and honeycomb and it says the mood is clear and romantic so i definitely agree with the mood and it is something that i will wear like i said during the evening for date night and maybe i will wear this to bed too because it's romantic so those are my um travel size versions in the and then we're going to move on to my mini size versions these are the ones that i love to take with me when i travel because they're just so easy to pack and throw in your luggage you can throw them in your carry-on you can throw them in your purse if you just don't like a little day trip or something like that these are so easy to transport and to have with you if you just wanted to like reapply them throughout the day they're very like incognito obviously i have my two top fragrances my two signature fragrances i have to have these in travel size so i do have it in the chanel coco mademoiselle and then this is just a twist top like this 
this is the applicator and then the little um, spray bottles comes in I think a pack of three so I have one of them in here now and then I have two in my drawer for when this runs out so I have the Chanel um, one and then I have the YSL which is no surprise because you know how obsessed I am with this so I have the YSL and I think these come in a size like 0.33 ounce I think that is uh, plenty for you because you don't need a lot of this like a little goes a long way but I don't follow that like I be overdosing in this perfume overdosing like you are gonna smell me before I get there you are you gonna know I'm coming before I arrive like that's how I do but um, it doesn't be too much like I don't be trying to kill nobody but I'm definitely letting you know that I'm on my way <laughs> when I'm spraying my perfume so those two you know I'm definitely keeping those in my full size and I'm definitely keeping those in my mini or travel size version keeping those in the collection and the last two that I have in the mini size version are the Burberry Her and the Gucci Flora so for the Burberry Her, the notes are um, Strawberry Accord, Blackberry Accord, Jasmine Accord, Vanilla, Amber, and Sandalwood. So this is a nice light fragrance you can wear this in the spring and summer. You can wear this all day. It's just a really nice, light, fresh, sweet fragrance. And then for the Gucci Floral, the notes are Mandarin Essence, Jasmine, Magnolia Accord, and Sandalwood. So I think this one is a little more intense. It's a little more warm. So I'll probably tend to wear this in the fall and winter. And um, I could probably wear this all day, but I would probably stick to wearing it in the evening because that's how I like to wear my warm scents, like during the evening or date night or something like that. And lastly, I have a new fragrance that I picked up. And I was, again, highly influenced by social media to pick this up. It was all over Instagram. And it's actually a dupe to a very popular, very expensive perfume that I know I'm not going to buy. So I was like, well, let me try this out because the person who reviewed this has the original um, fragrance. And she bought this to do a comparison. And she says that, in her opinion, they do smell very similar so this could be a proper dupe for that fragrance so i was like well let me go ahead and try that out because i know i'm not going to spend upwards of three four hundred dollars for a fragrance like i'm just not going to do that i don't mind spending money i love to spend money i love to shop but like some things and i keep saying this some things i'm just not going to spend my money on and four hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume i'm just not going to do that i can think of a million other things i could spend four hundred dollars on so that I'm not going to do. But the fragrance that I am talking about in the original version is the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. And I think the 2.4 ounce is like $325. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that but that's what it looks like and this one that i purchased from instagram is called and i know i'm not going to pronounce this correctly but it's called la rouge baroque and it looks like this it came in this really cute packaging this is the side and then you have like a bunch of letters on the back that you can barely read because it's so tiny so um this is the box and i've already opened this and smelled it like i said i can't confirm nor deny if this smells like the original because i've never smelled it but to me it does smell pretty good um it, i oh i can still smell it and i sprayed this like last week so the staying power is definitely long lasting um but it does smell good and this is what the bottle looks like i love the packaging it's glass it has this really nice gold top here and this is what it looks like really really cute really cute and i don't know the notes for this one because it wasn't on the box but the notes for the baccarat rouge which this should be a dupe for includes jasmine saffron cedar wood and ambergris so i definitely can smell like the cedar wood 
and the jasmine in this so i do believe it has similar notes it is a warm intense but scent it has its own smell like it's a very unique scent but it seems to be really nice i haven't worn it yet so i don't know how it would agree with my body chemistry but i am looking forward to giving this a try and i'll report back to you and let you know how i like it but again i can't compare it to the original one because i've never tried that before and it's never in the stores that i go in so if i ever come across it in the store and i get the opportunity to smell it then i'll be able to give a comparison review but until then it'll just be my review on how i like this particular one so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you've enjoyed going through my very reduced simplified perfume collection if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations of any other perfumes that i should try please leave them down in the comment section below and before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye